Mtronic technology is designed to make sure that your tool delivers optimum performance all day, every day, by making automatic adjustments to regulate the fuel and air mix to the machine. There are a couple of instances where you may need to reset your Mtronic machine. If you carry out any work on the fuel system, such as changing a solenoid valve, replacing or cleaning a carburetor, or even just replacing an old fuel filter, you will need to do an Mtronic reset. If you find that the saw isn't running as expected, for example, not revving to its full potential, it's always worth resetting your machine, as this may offer a quick and simple resolution. There are two methods to reset a still machine with Mtronic, as there have been a number of new and improved versions of Mtronic launched over the years. Method one is for machines with Mtronic 2.0 or lower, and method two is for machines with Mtronic 2.1 or higher. It's easy to tell which version you have by looking at the CE label inside the chain brake. Machines with Mtronic 2.1 or higher are shown on the label highlighted here. If it's not marked on the CE label as M2.1 or M3.0, then it's likely you have an older version of Mtronic. When using a chainsaw, even just for an Mtronic reset, you should always wear the correct personal protective equipment. Method one for an Mtronic reset. Remove the scabbard. Ensure the chain brake is on. Put the machine in the cold start position. Start the machine and run it in the cold start position for at least 90 seconds. Do not touch the throttle or accelerate the saw during this time. After 90 seconds, switch off the machine. Your machine is now recalibrated and ready for operation. Methods for resetting Mtronic 2.1 or higher. Remove the scabbard. Ensure the train brake is on. Put the machine in the cold start position. Start the machine and run it in the cold start position for at least 30 seconds, but no more than 60 seconds. Do not touch the throttle or accelerate the saw during this time. Turn off the chain brake. Squeeze the throttle fully for at least 30 seconds. Engine speed will vary noticeably during calibration. As soon as the engine speed drops noticeably, release the throttle. When the engine is back to idle speed, put the chain brake on and switch off your chainsaw. Your saw is now calibrated and ready for operation. Always double check your instruction manual to make sure you're following the right reset procedure. You can find copies of instruction manuals at still.co.uk.